All secrets will be spilled today. Hi, welcome to Q&A all about my wedding. No, no, don't need to skip. We're starting right away. First question is, when is the wedding and is it going to be in Mumbai or is it a destination wedding? Since I posted the 100 days to go real, a lot of dates have been guessed like 8th Feb, 9th Feb, 10th Feb. So let me confirm the exact date. It is the 10th of February 2025. It's a Monday. That is the day when we're getting married, Kumar and I. And if it's going to be in Mumbai or if it's going to be a destination wedding, you know what? It's a destination wedding in Mumbai. So I always wanted a destination wedding because I want to celebrate all the functions together. That Haldi is with me. Mehndi will be there before, but like to stay together, to have meals together in the beach. Otherwise, going to the banquet for Sangeet and then coming back home, that was not something I wanted for my own function. So we found a place in Mumbai which has a lot of rooms for all of us and the banquet and the open lawn. So we get to stay together also and we can have a lot of people from Bombay to Bombay. We don't have to like accommodate so many people because it's a Marwadi Gujarati wedding. Which leads us to the second question. Is it going to be a Marwadi wedding or a Gujarati wedding? During a marriage, I feel like the most important thing is both the parents and families to like meet and talk. So usme hi bahut sari cheezo ka answer mil jata. So for them, for Kumar's family, um, they have a ritual where the girls' rituals are followed. So in the last wedding that they had, which was intercast, even in that, the girls' rituals are only followed. So it's going to be a Gujarati wedding, but to respect each other and to just have a, a complete function, we are also going to include a bunch of Marwadi rituals. From my head, I feel like it's going to be 60-70% Gujarati rituals and then their things which are not already a part of our things will be added. So it's going to be like 60-40 or 70-30 from what I feel, but I think that is a little bit more than that. How is the wedding preparation going? Because I've been a entrepreneur, like someone who's had a business for so long, I have learned this ability that I don't need anything particular. I'm very chill. I'm not a bright zilla. I'm a bright chiller. Like, if I wanted a red line and if that doesn't happen, it's not going to bother me at all. I just need to like what I'm wearing or just need to like the food overall it doesn't have to be perfect so I honestly thought that the wedding preparations will be a lot easier for me because I'm so uh, easy going ho, but I don't like something being stretched for so long so I could have made decisions as much as I could have bought things but it hasn't happened but there's still so much left and that bothers me it stresses me it irritates me a lot so it's gone well so far i just want to be done with it a couple of months in advance so that i actually life enjoy because i want to process enjoy if there's like a hundred things to do in a week which is unreasonable wo kisi ko bhi koi bhi aspect mein maza nahi aata pata hai karne ka so yeah, i really want to be done before the next year begins but just sub a to z khatam karna uske pehle what will happen to my studio or my workspace i understand but don't understand this question at the same time because i know his intention kya hai that am i not going to go to work after getting married ye question na chupa hua lag raha hai mujhe is question ke andar um nothing is going to change at my studio or my workspace pertaining to my marriage if God has this will, so it will grow up. But like in marriage, like once I get married, literally my working times are not gonna change or my work culture is not going to change because that is my personal life, which is happening about my wedding, and this is my professional life. So when I talk about work-life balance being important, it's also important to keep work separate so that we maintain our professionalism and our own identity. For people who like to work, for people who don't want to work, for partners who don't want to work, it's fine to not want to work. But for me, it defines me a lot and it helps me grow as a person in my personal life also. So, I have to do work and challenging. Banana hai. And um, that is why I keep taking all these work trips and these opportunities which are more intense. But I get to learn so much that I feel like it makes me a better person and a better version of myself that I love more. How are your family's emotions and how are you coping up as the wedding is coming closer, the wedding date is coming closer? I always thought that I'm going to be the strong one and not feel a thing because 
um, I chose <coughs> okay I chose uh, the locations also of my workspace accordingly where I can save up on time and uh, make time for my parents and my family to keep meeting them often but you know what's making me more emotional is the change I never thought that so much of a change is going to affect me so much but it kind of is affecting me that I will have responsibilities to take care of not just my partner but also his family and that for me is very overwhelming at the moment so I'm taking therapy and trying to work my way through this feeling but it's a lot for me I know that 26 is an age where a lot of people already had kids and were handling a joint family a much bigger thing but for me it's a tough challenging but for my family I feel like they're doing almost okay sometimes they do feel emotional like oh my god like we're giving our order away and I have to keep telling them that I'm not a thing that you can give away it doesn't work like that anymore certain traditions show Raja Maharaja ke time ke the wo abhi apply nahi hote there was a lot of thing about like exchanging kingdoms and power position when they would give their princesses away to kings ab wo sab nahi hai people are practical that if you have a single daughter or even if you have multiple kids and sons it's okay to want to be connected to your parents and not forget them like jo insaan apne birth parents ko bhool sakta hai aur unko time love and affection nahi deta wo ek new family ko kaise dega is what my personal opinion is so um they know this is how i am and that's why I feel like they're doing mostly okay just sometimes because of the traditional beliefs ki hamari peeti kisi aur ke ho jayegi type conversation jab koi karta hai na tab unko thoda aisa emotional feel ho jata hai Will you be doing makeup for any of your functions? My own makeup? No but I will have my friend since a decade Vaishnavi doing my makeup for my wedding because um, I am very particular about my makeup the hair that is one thing that I am a little bit strict about because I don't like cakey makeup bilkul nahi lagta. so there are many makeup artists who may understand my vision but being able to execute uh, the base where it is full coverage but it still lets my spots show and my skin still breathe I don't like to feel like I've applied a lot so Vaishnavi ke saath maine itne 10 saalo se kaam kiya hai and she is so good at her work that the moment my wedding date was blocked she was one of the first team members I call that listen please tell me that you have these dates available because I don't want to be in a situation where I have to practice and do my own makeup because that was going to be my second best option finding a new makeup artist is not easy at all all outfits sorted for the wedding this is not going to be what you expected so as a creator we get many opportunities to source outfits or like do collaborations and second or do collaborations but jabhi brands ko aisa feel hota hai na that oh maybe the creator needs us more than we need the creator i feel i'm sure that this exists in a lot of other spaces they start acting pricey that oh if you want to wear our lehenga or our outfit you have to give us like five instagram posts and like uh, 10 reels and basically they start asking for a lot and that i feel is very unfair to me to over ask and also it's just annoying after a point right for you also to see the same outfit a million times so what i have done is i have purchased my own outfits with my own money um, which are on a budget which i love to wear and now that i have my actual outfits ready i am now open to collaborations key just in case i don't find any brand or any outfit that i love and which is a actually mutually beneficial uh, partnership or if something wrong happens with the partnership at the last moment tab main kahan se ja ke bridal outfit dhoond dungi so this is the plan that mostly i'm sorted for my outfits but i am now probably gonna get new outfits for all new functions depending on what the indian uh, fashion brands are in the space in it'll be fun if you have any brand recommendations let me know in the comments niche will i be doing any major wedding makeover like hair color nail extensions micro needling special facials eyelash extensions and all of that i think you know the answer to this by now that no i don't want to change the way i look 
बिकॉज और किसी को अलग लगे ना लगे मुझे ही बहुत अलग लगेगा एंड इफ आई लुक वेरी डिफरेंट ऑन दैट डे आई विल फील वेरी डिफरेंट एंड ऑकवर्ड सो आई डोंट वॉन्ट डू एनी थिंग यू दैट्स एग्जैक्टली वाई आई गॉट माई फर्स्ट एवर हेयर कलर ऑफ माई लाइफ सो अर्ली ताकि अगर मुझे नहीं पसंद आए ये आई कैन चेंज इट बैक टू वॉट माई हेयर इज एक्चुअली लाइक बिफोर द वेडिंग तो ये सब एक्सपेरिमेंट्स आई कैन नॉट डू very close to the wedding so no nothing i want to try who knows though what if i end up getting something done never say never will you be wearing a high end designer lehenga or a local designer you won't believe that up until now i would keep teasing my dad genuinely that you better say 5 6 lakh rupees for my wedding outfit because main to designer hi pehnungi like sabse saachi manish malhotra all of that was always on my wish list until my engagement uh, happened because tabhi it hit me that how expensive it is um to host a function feed so many people have grand decor and when if my parents are paying for any of it i don't want to spend more than what is necessary so i don't think i'll be wearing a high end designer lehenga unless we do like a collaboration um but i don't mind local designers also as long as the work is new and their own i don't like wearing replicas or copies and i don't like a lot of machine work i like hand work so you may see me in a local designer also with a fresh design with something that is me um i'm open to both pre wedding shoot this question is not applicable to me you need to ask this to kumar his handle is at kumar underscore agarwal he is going to kill me for doing this but this man has been so busy with everything else that he has not given me a date for the pre wedding shoot yet so as soon as oh my god this is so dark i think because i applied it on lip oil isliye iska extra pigment nikal gaya i'm going to wipe some off Uh, yeah, please ask him this that when are we doing it? How are we doing it? I have a vision for sure कि जो भी लोकेशन हम पिक करेंगे मुझे कैसा शूट करना है बट इट्स वेन ही इज गोइंग टू ग्रेस द शूट लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर दिस वीडियो वॉट इज माई ब्राइडल रूटीन नाउ एज फॉर डाइट आई एम वर्किंग विद अ डाइटिशियन टू जस्ट इम्प्रूव माई हेल्थ दिस इज आई डिट स्टार्ट इट बिफोर माई वेडिंग बिकॉज माई जनरल फिजिशियन माई डॉक्टर सेट सॉरी डेट वॉज माई फोन माई डॉक्टर सेट दैट आई शुड गेट फिटर इज जस्ट हॉर्मोनल चेंजेस के बारे में बट इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू बी ओनली फॉर द वेडिंग इवन आफ्टर द वेडिंग आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू बींग विथ हर बिकॉज जस्ट लाइक माई लाइफ हेज इम्प्रूव सो मच after making better choices as for workout i have also signed up for personal training at the gym and i'm doing yoga with my mom like dedicated fixed time pe which i'm seeing a pattern here is definitely happening because the wedding is so nearby but these habits i want to continue after the wedding also um any goals that i want to have before getting married is to have a routine yaar abhi to mera koi routine nahi banta hai properly because I either have to go shopping with my family or with Kumar's family, and just there's so much decision making. कि थोड़ा fatigue हो जाता है at the end of the day. So I want to have like I want to strike a balance before that where I am at peace and I have time for myself and I'm just yeah happy more and I'm not so drained so many times. So that's the goal to achieve to find that sweet spot that. proper boundary that fine line and enjoy so much this is the look wait let me zoom you out a bit i'm wearing this sundar suit jo actually mummy ka hai but mujhe us pe work itna acha lagta hai um if you have any more questions leave them down below i'll do a q and a more closer to the wedding in case any of my answers have changed and my experience so close um to getting married and if any of you are also in the same phase then all the very best you are not alone if you feel that if you enjoyed watching this video then do give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you did not enjoy watching this video then last give a thumbs down all the products i used to get ready today will be tagged in the product tag list and i'll see you very very soon in a brand new video until then goodbye